Welcome to tonight's podcast. Mm. Juice. Does our podcast have a name? Podcast one, two, and three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, you know what? A while ago, I was actually thinking of, of a few names, mm. but none of them sound neon. Mm, or digitalized. The, the best I could come up with was coffee and cookies, but coffee we don't cookies. ever have coffee or cookies. Or cookies. So, cacti. We have a, cacti, a, we cacti. Have a cactus. <laughs> Uh, anyway, <laughs> let me start off by asking you about some experiences you had this week. Oh man, concerning cool food combinations. Ah, oh, um, all right. So first of all, uh, usually I don't have a problem with mixing anything, and and, and like, like like you guys know this, like I eat, just eat, you know, like I'm drinking water and tea at the same time, kind of thing. Uh, I thought you meant like your beetroot juice running into your smash. That's pretty gross. Oh yeah, no, that's fine. That's. Like, like, you know, I don't have a problem mixing foods. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, but... But, what? <laughs> but anyway. Today, I came across something that I... I can't. I can't. Um, hot cross buns and hot Milo. Hmm. It doesn't sound bad, to be honest. Ooh, man, that's disgusting. Like, I can't. That was so gross. I, I thought it would be a nice combo, because usually it's like tea, hot cross buns. But yeah, I, I, exactly. I toast them. So I think maybe like that has something to mm. do with it. I don't know. That's strange. This is a very weird subject to start the podcast with. Talking about food, <laughs> you remember that, that chocolate Cadbury used to make? Yes, no chocolate. Mm. That was amazing. And I had like the question on, you could like snap it and be mm. like, yes or no. I was very confused over um, like, do you like, cause, okay, don't yeah, bother do, me. Yeah, the do you adverts, give the yes or the no? <laughs> yeah, the adverts didn't make it clear. <laughs> like, do you give the yes to the person if the answer is yes? Or do you keep the answer? Or do you keep the yes? Yeah. I don't know. Mm. I still don't know. But I'd, I was never into the whole thing of giving my chocolate away. So oh. I would just answer and keep the chocolate because it's so chocolate. I mean, it's mine. Don't touch it. Anyway, as anyway. usual, we have our paper. Paper topics. And we have, we have to talk about some weird adverts we saw this week. Yo, man. Um, hmm. I don't know if, if they have seen these adverts on YouTube lately, but it's getting really weird. Let's start off with... Let's leave the best for last. So Which let's start off with Gumtree. Gumtree, okay. And we yeah. leave the other one. <laughs> so, the Gumtree ad. The Gumtree ad is... I don't know what it's happened It's weird. Name. It just starts and it shows a charger. Yeah, and yeah. That it's like not working. And then, and then, then it weird switches over to Gumtree. So I'm guessing Gumtree started retailing chargers. I don't know. That's <laughs> don't weird. And, I don't know. <laughs> and they just start singing about that the chargers don't charge them up. And I'm, I'm not going to sing it. No way. Sing I'm it. Sing no. it. Justin, just, oh, you're not gonna do that. No. But yeah, um, <laughs> it's horrible. I don't know. If you haven't seen it, just like type that in. Oh, you know, what? maybe this is what they wanted. Maybe this is the reaction they wanted. They wanted know? people to start talking about it on on podcasts. Oh, hmm. We fell for we it. Fell for it. We <laughs> fell for it. Moving on, next one. Anyway. My personal favorite is this thing where where people are are jumming their jaws now, right? Hmm. Like no, but for real. This. Uh, <laughs> The advert starts off like I know the adverts are usually things you Google, right? Because yeah, they, they're watching you, right? You're watching but you, right? you didn't. Or but did I you? didn't Google did anything Google about jawlines. How, how do you do my jawline? <laughs> no, I no, didn't no, no. know. And then this guy starts <laughs> off with like he's like uh, something about you know looking younger. And then he pops this, this like ball into his mouth. And he just starts chewing, chewing it. it. And then he's like, like a he, rubber ball. Yeah, he like looks straight into the camera, chews this thing, takes it out. And he's like, you know, do you want to look younger? I'm like, whoa, that's weird. <laughs> what is this? I know you have five seconds to like skip the video, so I know he starts by, <clears throat> wait, 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 don't skip this video. Watch me chew this ball. <laughs> <laughs> and I ended up it. watching why he's chewing the yeah. ball, and it like oh, jumps man. your jaw to get a better jaw. Yeah, I guess make, makes you look forty years younger. Forty yeah, years. Forty years, I'd be dead. <laughs> I wouldn't be here. <laughs> Stop chewing the ball and you just disappear. <laughs> man, these YouTube adverts are, are weird, man. Yeah, but um, the, the yeah. fact that they recommend it, like, what did you search? I don't know. We don't talk about that. <laughs> um. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so we basically split up our podcast, like, from now going onward into two different parts, like minor topics and major yeah. topics. Minor topics, would you guessed it, be... What these, we just did. <laughs> with these things <laughs> and the major topics we trying to spend a little bit more time on on those yeah. things but before we get to that i have a question for you and i think i might have asked you this before but we were but not in a podcast yet not in a podcast and also we were a little our questions might well, i mean answers might be a little bit different now okay 
you could have <laughs> now this mm. is like every guy's every guy has, has asked this question at you, some point if you, if, if you if you could have any any superpower <laughs> what would it be mm. <clears throat> time control okay. definitely is there like a specific reason yes i mean you want to be lazy you can be lazy but you don't have to procrastinate oh because when you're done being lazy no time has passed See, the, the answers are definitely different now than what they would have been a few years ago. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, definitely. I want to be super strong. Okay, I want to fly. My, well, flying would be pretty cool. Yeah, it would be pretty <laughs> cool. My favorite, my favorite, I would want the superpower of not making mouth noises while we record anymore. <laughs> oh, sis. Is that, mm, that annoys me. Oh, oh man, wow. I annoy myself when, when I'm like editing the audio and then mm. I hear myself doing that. That would be a really cool superpower. Wow, that definitely falls under <laughs> most useless superpowers. Of no, all it's time. very like it saves so much editing time. Man. I don't know, just yeah, oh, no. Okay, one more, one more. I'll, one I'll give you a proper answer, and then you give me one. Okay, more. go for it. To turn anything into anything else. Here you go. Like, do you want to fly? You turn yourself into a version that can fly. <laughs> Wow, I was like thinking turning pencils into money or something, but I guess that works too. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. One useless superpower. Um, your feet. No, I was going to say your feet are socks, but I don't know. Like, well, <laughs> <laughs> that'd be pretty cool, actually. No, it <laughs> wouldn't. Put shoes on the whole time. Yeah, but how do you shower? Like, if you if you wet got socks, so like wet socks suck. Imagine your feet being socks <laughs> and you socks showering. Sock, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh let's see. Um, Yours? Hmm. You have the ability <clears throat> for your pencils not to finish. Claim the reward. <laughs> Claim the reward. I guess <laughs> that would be a useless superpower. Not really. You save a lot of money buying. So pencils. you don't have to sharpen your pencil. It's just. Yeah, you can. It's a like in, uh, infinity pencil. That would be really sad. Like you wake up one day and someone's like, "You have superpowers. <laughs> you are the chosen one." <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, what can, can I do? What can I do? <laughs> like your pencils will never. <laughs> wow. Okay. No. Anyway. That's, um, that's interesting. <laughs> okay. Wait. One more. So you have a button in front of you. Yeah. But there's. <clears throat> 85% chance mm. of you winning 3 billion rand. 85%? Yes. Okay. 15% chance that you die if you push it. Do you do it? 3 billion. Or oh, death. Death. <laughs> <laughs> See, the thing is, if I then die, right? It might. It's better than three three um, billion. Yeah, yeah. But, but, no, no, but, but listen, if I didn't die, I go to heaven, which is like much better than that. But then I haven't done everything I, yeah, I should have done. Yeah, you're clowny. Plus, <laughs> because of what Jesus did, we got access to all the money anyway. So sorry, button already got got it. Yeah. So it's like cop press a button. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, uh, my girlfriend would be really angry if uh, the fifteen percent happens. Not because you die, because you don't get three billion. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I was gonna say yeah, pretty much. <laughs> She'll probably comment down below. Yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> Look for the comment that says yep. <laughs> okay, right, man. let's let's move on. All right, we let's need move. some major topics. Let's get into the proper topic. Yes. So for today, <clears throat> no mouth sounds. Hashtag mouth sounds. Yes. Um, we were going to talk about something. We're gonna, yeah, we were going to talk about a lot of subjects. I actually wrote them down. We were going to speak about um, the spiritual world, right? Yeah. Uh, being sensitive to the Holy Spirit and by implication being sensitive to things that happen in the spiritual world yeah. and also um, seeing things. Okay, this is going to sound whack, but bear with me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's in the Bible. Um, uh, the, the, the word says that the Holy Spirit shows you the future, shows you things to come. Yeah. And that's happened so many times to us, right? Uh, where he shows you events that are to come, uh, things you should do, all those kinds of things. But that didn't turn out like that. Today, no. while we were preparing, the Holy Spirit told us to talk about... Confession. confession. Yes. And not confession as, as in... in oh, I can I've, I've seen, in, you know, 
not 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 like no. stolen Kit Kat stuff, but to speak. faith, yeah, faith stuff. Yeah. Um, I think like we've been going through, we've been going through like things that where we sometimes forget to actually speak our faith. Yeah, definitely. Even though we talk about it so 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 much, mm. so I guess the remaining we've got like on our fancy studio timer about twenty minutes, no, yeah, less, a little bit less, a little bit less. I guess let's just pull that apart a little bit more. Yeah, because um, we haven't spoken about this before the time, so this should no. be a really Quite interesting, interesting conversation. Yeah. All right. I just feel like I need to add, um, earlier today I was watching a, a video and the guy explains, he asks us to use our imagination. To imagine having kids and then they grow up and you obviously love them to bits and mm-hmm. all that. And then one day they mess up or they, they're disrespectful to you and it's like getting really <clears> bad and... You tell them to leave the house, okay? okay? And I know it sounds weird, but he said to imagine this now. And after having such a long journey with them, obviously, obviously them being your child, as as they walk out the door, they look back and you're like, no, how can I give this up? You know, how can I just let you go? And then he, he said, and that's exactly what God does. He doesn't say, no, get out now, but he will never give up on us and he'll always be there for us and he wants us to stay there. And I don't know, it was just... Like a motivation to never think that God thinks you're disgusting or that you can't go to him with anything. Or mm. I know that like guilt feeling you have when sin kicks in and you stay away from God, that is such a horrible feeling. And yeah, yeah. I mean, that is not like that at all. God yeah. doesn't think that of you at all. See, when when when, when I usually teach, I, I use this, um, you know, like in Lion King, they've got, you know, the circle of life. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I usually call it the circle of sin. Um, yeah, yeah, I remember. <laughs> I actually don't have my Bible, you know, but, um, you know, it basically the Bible describes the, um, you know, like the process of how it happens. You know, temptation yeah. comes, then you, you know, you go for it, it happens, and you feel guilty, and you stay away, and you have to, then you repent, you come back, and this whole, this whole thing where the devil keeps you busy with, yeah. you know. It's called trafulence. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. But um, but yeah, all right. So for for the for the speaking thing, we've spoken about this in videos before. But I just want to get to, I guess, the more casual conversational side of it to get a little bit deeper into it. Yeah, confession, um, speaking. Yeah. So just a disclaimer. This is like I say this all the time, but just once again, this is not um, you know, like all new age stuff. Like if you just speak, things will happen. Like that's oh, not. No. Yeah. We're not talking about that. We're not talking about you know, stuff like that. Yeah. Are uh, we talking about? Uh, laws that God put into place. Like, for example, gravity is a law, right? Yeah. Just as, like, gravity is a law, speaking is a law as well. Spiritual law, yeah. Of yeah, course. Spir- yeah, there, 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 there we go. That's <laughs> spiritual law, right? So I wanted to, to start off just by saying that words, like your words, set things or sets in things motion. in motion. Yeah. So whether that's for good or for bad, like, you can look at it as, you know, God being on one side and then, you know, the kingdom of darkness on the other, right? If you... Yeah speak in line with what the devil wants that's gonna happen like yeah, if you're negative and stuff. definitely i mean um if you say you're sick and oh this headache is it's just never gonna end you know mm. it's never gonna end guess gonna, what <laughs> because the devil's gonna be there to you know mm. get you on that really exactly so the thing i want to like focus on with this and i'm pretty sure you felt the exact same thing today <clears throat> is that how important it is to speak and how how much the devil goes about trying to get you to not speak. Oh, yeah, faith. definitely. Just to keep it from, you know. Exactly. That's horrible. Like, yeah. if we go back, uh, we said this in the video as well, um, God created everything, right, through Jesus by speaking, speaking. right? And Jesus is the, the word, word of God, right? Yeah. Trippy, right? <laughs> but anyway, um, so we know in Mark eleven twenty two it says for us to have the God kind of faith, and it explains yeah. the God kind yeah. of faith is to speak, Right, and there's so many verses. Like I wrote down, yeah, things I wanted to remember. Like for example, um, you know, Matthew seventeen twenty is a really good one. When it speaks about, you know, if you say to this mountain, or if you say to whatever, to do whatever yeah, your, your with problem, faith, or not necessarily anything, but anything. Basically, we use it for problems. Yeah, obviously, it's gonna happen. And I you mean, can move your mountain. You can move your problem by yeah. speaking to it, as the Bible says. Exactly. If you need, like, okay, this is how I see it. If you even need a literal mountain moved, right, it's going to move. <laughs> I mean, the Bible says, <laughs> yeah, the mountain will move. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know if you've encountered, but a lot of times people like, um, you know, taking the Bible and just spiritualizing everything. It's just like, yeah, no, it's you know, like if if you are blessed, it's only spiritually. Spiritual, but it's, it's not. 
you know, naturally. Super practical, actually. It's definitely, like yeah. with everything. So the like if, what i wanted to say is is if you if you like if they watched the video right they can if they take nothing from the video right but except one thing it would be to speak the word of god to speak in line yeah. with the word and hear it for yourself and keep away from negativity like, definitely because obviously if you speak negative the devil's going to be there and mm. those things will probably happen exactly things like um I'm never going to get out of this financial problem I'm in, Ooh, you know. Yeah. That's, that's a, a big that's one. That's a big one. That's a very big one. And I mean, with finance, it's a big topic. Yeah. I mean, mm. and getting back to speaking to your mountains, speaking to your problems, think about maybe if you have, if you've got debt, you know, lay it out on the table and tell it, you do not have right here anymore. You are done. You are, or as the, as the book said, dissolved and you Canceled, cease to yeah. exist. Yeah. yeah. And you keep on speaking it. The Bible says it will be like that, yep. and it, it will be like that. Exactly. So yeah, basically, don't say you're in this dead and it's gonna stay because yeah. it will stay then. Like uh, things that we hear a lot now, right? Uh, or things like you know, oh, the world's never gonna recover from this. Yeah. And the thing that, that freaks me out is like people are hopping onto this train of like speaking negativity yeah. everywhere, and not realizing how powerful. It actually is. Mm. I mean, um, I wrote down, it's Proverbs 18.21. It says, you know, life and death is in the tongue, right? Absolutely, yeah. Not, not like, you know, <laughs> but you're speaking. Yeah. <laughs> so if you speak death, death is going to come. If Absolutely. you speak life, life's going to come. Yeah. So, like, the, the thing is, if you see speaking only as like, you know, oh, it's nothing, it's most likely, you know, like, it's not going to do much for you if you're like, oh, I'll speak the word of God, yeah. but I'll still worry about my problems and stuff. It doesn't work like that. It, it has to be like right. come from your heart, from your spirit. Exactly. And it must be faithful, your words. Mm. You know, That's what makes a difference. So it's also a mindset that you have to get into before. Yeah. Not not that you have to, there's a process before speaking. Just start mm. speaking it because you speaking it will <clears> generate <throat> faith in yeah. those words. And so there's no thing of... Okay, so I know I have to speak, but I don't have faith. Let's first get some faith. No, mm, just yeah. speak it. Keep on speaking it. You will. That brings faith. And it will yeah. generate faith yeah. by um, hearing the word of God. Yeah. So exactly. So faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Uh, Romans ten seventeen, I think. <laughs> I should really remember my Bible to bring it with for our podcast. But um, if 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 you want to like like break it down to to the to the you know I guess how do you say that to the if you get to the bottom of it yeah really right. So many verses throughout the New Testament and the Old and the Old Testament speak about speaking, like how important it is what you speak. Like if you start, okay, let's use an example, right? Um, I think I've used this in uh, a while that actually happened thing. Um, right. When I was learning about the speaking thing, I had you know a really nice uh, like rash or ringworm, whatever it was, like yeah. on my arm, all along my arm. And I just started, I learned the one day about uh, the word saying to speak. And I was like, all right. So I know the Bible says that by stripes I am healed. Yeah. So I started speaking to it. And this is a really important thing. The word says that if you shall say you're to the to mountain. The problem, to the problem, so I started yeah. speaking to the thing. And I said, hey, the word says that I am healed. Yeah. Right. And then I started saying, so you are dead and gone. Like yeah. canceled, right? And I did it for two days. In the two days, I, I was looking at how it just shrinks away yeah. more and more. Right? So it's the word of God. Exactly. Yeah. So I stopped for one day to test and it just sat right there. Yeah. You know, and then the third day I spoke it again, completely you speak gone. To the problem, to the mountain. Yeah, yeah. And it has to obey you because it's yep. what God's word says. Exactly. And who's gonna go against that? Exactly. That's the best part. So if, if you are, are speaking, you know, what the word says, that is just as good as God speaking in. Like yeah. I, I don't want to con like you, you know, know like, confuse or yeah. make it sound strange, but that is the power that it carries if you speak it. Absolutely, yeah. So uh, that's powerful. I want to share kind of with what happened today. So for a while, um, <laughs> I don't know how it happened, but um, I kind of got a right to stop speaking the word, right? Um, like if you stop speaking, like in my life, I found that my prayer time, you know, just went, you know, yeah. you know because now a big chunk of it was speaking the word and doing, you know, um, you know, those kinds of things, right? Absolutely, yeah. So today I was like, wow, I didn't even realize that when the Holy Spirit started talking yeah. to me about, hey, yeah. speak your faith. And um, this is the way that you change. <laughs> okay, let's let's make it sound like, you know, our superhero question in the beginning. Like, you know, like, let's make it sound like that. Okay. This is how you change and shape reality, if you want to put it like that. That's a very Gee. weird way of saying yeah. it, but this is how you change reality around you 
by yeah, speaking. Absolutely. According to the word. <laughs> Otherwise, you might change it to some really bad things. Yeah, like don't speak negative. Let's just get back to that again. That is super important. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I mean, I remember being in primary school and high school sometimes. Um, I would say, I'm really not in the mood to go to school. So I'd be like, oh, I've got a headache or I'm sick or I've got fever. And then I obviously pretend so the mom comes in, she checks and she's like, oh, I'm so sick. And, yeah. Yeah, and, we, and then I don't go to school. But then that afternoon, I'm like, for real, sick. Yeah. And I was just speaking negative, you know, mm. and mm. it manifested. Yeah. So I don't know. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> don't do it. Yeah. I'm Rather say nothing. I think that's the better option. If you don't want to speak positive, Rather say if you really don't want to, which yeah. isn't a good idea, just don't say anything. Yeah. Do you remember how long it like took us to get out of the, um, I guess, the rut of speaking negative? Like, remember, like, oh, we yeah. used to just Always like, just, oh, oh, that's going to happen now. Yeah. Oh, this is going to happen now. And when we started learning about how important it is what you say and how yeah. it actually shapes things, like, it took a little bit, you know, like we, we would like usually correct each other. Like, hey, what are you saying now? You know, kind yeah. of thing. But um, oh, I just quick want to share, like, um, like an experience today that I had. Right. And I know you've had a lot of similar ones. So I would like ask you to also do the same. But um, so today when I realized, oh man, I haven't I haven't spoken my faith in such a long time. And yeah, I was like wondering why, why aren't things happening like yeah. they used to, like things aren't happening. Like, you know, the, the things I'm believing for, they're just, just not happening. And then the Holy Spirit was like, uh, you're not speaking it. <laughs> I was like, oh, Oh yeah, Ramez. Yeah, um, right? forget about that. <laughs> um, so today, while I was walking, <clears throat> you know, in, in, up and down my room, um, I was I, I was starting, I was doing this again. I was speaking uh, after praying, I was praying in tongues for a little while, yeah. and then I just started speaking, right, uh, according to the word. And then, as I started doing that, the room again started filling with God's yeah, presence, oh, right. Definitely. And then the more I spoke, the more it felt like my whole body was like, I guess like full of electricity there's no other mm. way of explaining it right and i could like feel it like going all over right yeah and that's when i realized you know what you are such a plank <laughs> because you forgot to do this do this is the yeah. most important thing if you if you speak your actions will even follow yeah like because you, you already spoke it because it, it all starts with the word exactly if you just speak it everything else will follow exactly so exactly. i had a similar experience earlier um i just started speaking things that i need and the things i'm believing for yeah, and the presence of God just filled in the room, and mm. I could feel. How can I say it? The fullness of joy. Yeah, and <clears throat> I've had a real mopey day, to be honest. Real lazy, <laughs> not not in the mood to do anything. Mm. And then I got to that point, and I was like, "Wow, okay, this is it's restoring yeah. now, and it's getting much better." And to get back to the, well, not to get back, but about the speaking, I don't want to move into this subject, but. I don't have opinions about the virus thing going on, but I hate that that people don't have this concept of every that things are always connected spiritually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. King of darkness and God, you know, mm -hmm. they can. That's why everyone started looking up history of the 1920s and the 1820s In the and the 70s, this, yeah. and it mm -hmm. was all about oh look, there were viruses. And one person just started out and like, yeah, there's probably going to be one this year because it's also at 20, you know, it's 2020. Ew. And then the meme started going around. People were like, haha, yeah, it, it's happening. It's going to happen. And well, guess where we are now? You know? mm. For all we know, it could have been contained wherever it started. And that was well, not even it, have you know? started. Not even have started. But no, people went out and started saying yeah. there's probably going to be a virus. Yeah. And as much as people like to say it's coincidence or whatever it is, it's a spiritual connection. Yeah. They spoke it, they spoke yeah. negative, it happened, it manifested because the devil so isn't true. laying on his back waiting, yeah, like, oh, today I'll be, <laughs> do some bad stuff. He's there to get you on every single word that you yeah, say, yeah. every single negative thing that comes yeah. out of your mouth, he will manifest something there. No, you, you give him the right Absolutely, to act yeah. on it. So either you give God the right, like if you speak his word, his power starts to work, starts to manifest, yeah, right? Definitely. Same with the other side. I remember in the beginning of this year, looking at all these, there were thousands of memes, right? Yeah. Like going on about um, saying, oh, there's going to be a virus now mm. because the 1820s had one, uh, 1920s had one. And it all one. started with, with those um, natural disasters of the yeah. of the fires <clears throat> in Australia. I think yeah. they're like, okay, what's going to happen next? And exactly. that's where it all yeah. started. Yeah. So then um, I remember looking at it and going, man, 
Like people should people really not be doing this yeah. right now. And then it actually starts it. Mm. I was that was crazy, man. But um Yeah, confession, speaking yo. is super important and speaking the right stuff, you know. Definitely. Read the word, speak the word mm. and gener- and generate faith through that. And it's just this perfect loop. Yeah. Uh, we spoke about circle of life, there's a circle of sin. This mm. is just the perfect loop to generate faith, to hear it, and to speak it, and then action follows. Exactly. And then because you speak it, more faith comes, mm. more action comes, more results. Yeah. And that's just like the perfect concept that God has given us. I am not being rude. I want to quickly read, because I forgot my Bible again. Of course. I just want to read Matthew 17, 20, just like quick, quick, uh, if I can find it, yeah. Um, in the King James, because I think we have like what five minutes left. Um, yeah, I think just so. to get our last point across. But um, just while I'm looking forward, I wanted to say that perhaps next time I would really love to like <laughs> this is a big word delve into delve. <laughs> <laughs> into um, you know more of of because by then we would have had uh, teaching already about the Holy Spirit. So I want to yeah. like kind of delve more into yeah, we're going to start the, the Holy Spirit. things Jeez. definitely. That's going to be awesome. All right. So uh, I'm just going to start like halfway. It says, if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, you will say unto this mountain, remove from here to there, and it will remove, and nothing will be impossible to you. Yeah. So if you literally just start speaking faith-filled words according to the word, mm. it will happen. So whether that's finances, whether that's sick, whether that's even family members that don't know God, if you just start yeah. speaking these things, it will happen. It will happen. Yeah. And like the thing that gets me is nothing will be impossible to you. And I know the thought, I'm sure it crosses a lot of people's minds. It crosses a lot of people's minds. But <laughs> it happened to me where I'm like, okay, I have to speak these things, but I don't have faith. Yeah. But by speaking it, you generate faith. Exactly. So just start. Yeah. No matter if you, you don't even have to really believe it in the beginning because mm-hmm. If you don't believe it, you don't have the faith for it. But by speaking it, the faith comes and the believing comes and then yep. you believe and then action comes. Mm. Just start speaking it. No matter how bad it is, you can sit in your room and you can know that the worldly fact is you don't have money now or you are sick now. Mm. And you can speak, I am healed and still not believe it. But the truth is you are healed. Mm. There's a difference between the worldly facts and the truth of God. And I'm sticking with the truth. Exactly. So just start saying, I am healed. I have money. We are not in financial crisis. We are not yeah. this. And, yeah, exactly. And it will just start to manifest. It e- will. Every page of the New Testament has so many promises, you know, to us. Yeah. Like there is, man, we were talking about just the last few minutes, we were talking about um, how uh, Paul in, in, in Ephesians was writing to them saying that he's praying for them to start like to realize the amazing power that that God has in us you know like, like towards us the things yeah. that we are able to do because of him mm. is intense like for example man that, that time there was a hailstorm and you just looked at it and said stop right like yeah. you like like stop in Jesus name instantly like yeah i, I remember i was like whoa like it just like instantly it just cleared up, out and there was nothing i mean um we have the authority over these things and Hail does not have the right to damage our property in exactly. any way. Like a lot of people forget that it damages stuff. I mean, our yeah, cars yeah. were outside. I remember. <laughs> Hail, no, stay away. <laughs> yeah. So, guys, speaking, definitely. Yes, absolutely. Don't neglect it. Go check the previous video about how to receive. It covers yes. it. It's super important. Do you think I'll be able to sync this up in video editing with the thing again? With yes. the All right. If it's the same level. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, no. I'll try my best. Pan it up. Zoom. Yeah. Bye-bye. Good night.